In Accra, the capital of Ghana, the scenery can be grim. In the city's southwestern corner lies a sprawling wasteland of garbage called Agbog Blashion, maps in Sodom and Gomorrah by the 40 000 people who live there. It's easy to see why. Massive piles of waste adorn the blackened earth, the ground charred by repeated burning. Fires punctuate the landscape as the figures of young boys circle them, prodding them with rebar. Girls carry bags of water and fruit on their heads, selling them to the scavengers. And in the evenings, after hours of collecting scrap metal and selling it for pennies, the boys cross the anemic, garbage-choked river that separates the dump from Galloway, the shanta town where they sleep. It's sad that we're now accustomed to seeing photographs of children digging through heaps of garby. But there's one detail about Agbog Blashi that makes the images prick and prod the Western conscience a bit deeper. The children are scavenging discarded electronics that we may have put there. Agbog Blashi is an e-waste dump where defunct hard drives, monitors, keyboards, Phones and also household appliances like refrigerators are burned, smashed and pried open for the semi-valuable metals that lie within. They're after copper, mostly, but also aluminum, tin and iron. But there's another kind of metal they release, lead, which seeps from the broken electronic vessels into the soil, water and air along with mercury, arsenic flame retardants and chlorofluorocarbons.